Welcome to week one of the Glow Quilt Sew Along, where I will be showing you how to make the Art Gallery Fabrics Glow Quilt. I'm Jamie. I run Thread the Needle Fabrics, an online fabric shop based in Vancouver, Canada. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make this as both a puff quilt and as a traditional quilt. If you're wanting to use this for bedding, I'd recommend you making it as a traditional quilt because it will wash better. If you're wanting to use it as a throw quilt or a play mat or a picnic blanket, then I think the puff quilt is an awesome option and it will hold up in the wash. It just won't hold up in the wash quite as well as a traditional quilt will. Um, but it's still super worth making and it's so, so cute. <laughs> Quilt along is perfect for those who have never quilted before or are very new to quilting. Um, Art Gallery does have a really great YouTube tutorial for this quilt, but it goes quite quickly and it's not targeted for people who've never quilted before. So I really wanted to break it down step by step. And also it's fun to join in a quilt along because we share our progress each week. I'm going to have a few prizes for you guys and um, you can ask me questions throughout the quilt along and I will answer those as quickly as I can so you can send me messages on whichever social media app you're watching this on and I will incorporate them into the following week's video or just answer them right away in the comments. For this week you don't need anything ready we're just going to go over the materials and uh, talk about what you need ready for next week. So let's check out the materials that we're going to be using for this quilt. For the materials you're going to need just over 1.8 yards of fabric you can purchase a kit in my shop where it's all pre-cut like this. And the big thing when ordering fabric for this quilt is the pieces are cut as width of fabric, which means from selvage to selvage. This is the selvage on your fabric. It's the two edge pieces that are tightly sewn together. And in the quilting world, when we say width of fabric or WOF strips, we mean 42 inch long. They're anywhere from 42 to 45 inch long strips that goes selvage to selvage. So as you can see here from selvage to selvage, cause it's folded over right there, you've got 42 inches. Um, it's important if you're ordering fabric for this kit and you're coming up with your own, own types of fa own fabric mix, um, that you order it in the following cuts that I'm gonna put up on the screen here because those cuts are width of fabric cuts. So you can come up with whatever color set you'd like. So you can really have a lot of fun with what the quilt top is gonna to look like. And then you're gonna want a set of, I like to use 50 weight cotton thread, um, but threads that you can match to the, match to the quilt top or have them contrast, whatever you want. This is really where you get to have a lot of fun with quilts and come up with a style that you like. Um, what I did personally for my glow quilt was use this as my bobbin thread so that all of the pieces along the back match to the quilt backing. For the quilt backing, you can use a flannel like Art Gallery did, which is what this material here is. Um, you can use a quilting cotton, whatever you'd like. Um, for the amount of the backing, you're going to want the equivalent of four yards of 42 inch wide fabric. And then for the binding, you're going to need nine yard, nine inches, sorry, nine inches of, um, quilting cotton. And this is what goes around the outside of the quilt. And then you're also going to need safety pins for basting your quilt, which is when you're putting the two pieces of fabric together. Um, you're going to need a rotary cutter for cutting everything and a quilting ruler. You can get away with just a regular ruler if this is your first quilt and a cutting mat. Now you could technically cut all of this with scissors and no cutting mat, but believe me, it is worth getting the cutting mat, the rotary cutter and the ruler if you want to try it quilting. Um, I believe at stores like Michael's, you can get these for all three together in packs uh, for around $30 and there's always a sale on somewhere. Um, and then the other thing you're going to need for this quilt is the polyfill, which is what goes in to the inside of the quilt. Another option for the inside of the quilt is using traditional quilt batting. Um, I'm going to be showing both options in this quilt. Another great tool to have is painter's tape. I like to use this when I am basting my quilt together, which we'll go over in a couple weeks. Um, but if you can find some of this or masking tape and have it on hand, that's super helpful as well. Last but not least is a sewing machine. I'm going to be using this Singer Professional for this quilt. I usually use a B79 by Burnett, 
but it's in the shop. Um, you don't need a machine that has any special quilting features, and you don't need any special feet for this quilt either. If you have a walking foot, that's great. If you have a walking foot feature on your machine, wonderful, but this quilt can be made with a regular sewing machine as long as it's in good working order. So I'll be talking all about that as well as we're getting into the quilting part. Next week we'll be talking all about cutting your fabric for the quilt top. So what you'll need to have ready to go is the fabric that you'll be using for your quilt top, which is the equivalent of 20 times 3.25 inches of fabric, <laughs> which is a little over 1.8 yards of the fabric of your choosing. Um, like I said, I have kits ready that are pre-cut in the shop, so you can grab one of those, or you can put together your own set of fabric. And I mean, there are so many cool quilting fabrics out there, so this is a really fun way to play around with what your quilt's going to look like. Um, so you can buy any amount of fabric you want. You could have it be two colors, three colors, 20 colors, anything you're looking for. Um, I highly suggest playing around with some crayons, some pencil crayons, and seeing what you like. Um, and you can hop on my website. There's all kinds of different quilting fabrics on there. You could do solids. You could do prints like this awesome Ruby Star one. Um, there's so, honestly, the options are endless. Um, but if you want it to look exactly like the art gallery quilt, then hop on over to my site and grab one of those kits. I'll see you next week.